16.8. So we have a plot of the transverse velocity versus time uh, at the x equals 0 on a string. That obviously has a wave going on it. The scale of this is set <clears throat> by uh, 4 meters per second. Now, this is the generic form that the wave has, and so we want to figure out what this phase phi is. And it warns us about uh, potential issues with inverse tri trig functions on calculators. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful of that. Now, we're told this is at x equals 0. So we know that the speed is just going to be the, the, the time derivative of this. So we're going to get a negative omega from the chain rule. Then our y sub m is still there. We'll have a cosine of negative omega t plus phi. So this is our function that's being plotted here. <clears throat> so um, at t equals 0, the slope of this is positive. Time zero, so we just have the phase here. So this is going to help us get the correct angle here, knowing noting that this has to be positive. More specifically, negative sine of phi is positive because y sub m and omega squared are positive. And we could divide both sides of this by those, and so we just get negative sine of phi is greater than zero. So this means uh, that phi is either in the third or fourth quadrant. So now, At time zero, u is negative four meters per second. This is from the plot here. And u max is five uh, meters per second. Because note that the, uh, the scale extends up to five. So the, the thing that gives us the scale, what the scale of the axis is, is at 4, but then we have an additional sort of tick mark up to 5, and that's the maximum value it takes. Uh, and this also has to be equal to omega times y sub m. So we have u equals negative u max. Times the cosine of negative omega t plus phi. We want this at t equals 0. So this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 5, this is going to be 0. So we have that the phase is going to be an arc cosine of 4 fifths. And so this is going to be either plus or minus 0 0.6 four, three, five radians.
we're using the fact that uh, cosine is an even function, so we can multiply this by negative one, and it doesn't affect the. Uh, we can multiply the argument to it by negative one, and it doesn't affect the sign of the result. Now, because we said that uh, the angle has to be in the the third or the fourth quadrant, we need the negative one because we measure angles from the positive x-axis, of course. So we have like two possible angles here, and it has to be this one because it has to be in either the third or the fourth quadrant. And so a negative, you know, angle that's less than pi radians will be in the third or fourth quadrants. So we end up with the phase is negative point zero six. Four, three, five radians. And of course, we could also add any multiple, any integer multiple of two pi to this, or subtract any integer multiple of two pi. Um, and it would, you know, it would be the same angle, but uh, so if you wanted to express this as being positive you can add 2 pi to it and get 5.64 radians. So that it's instead of starting at the x-axis and going back a bit, you start at the x-axis and then go all the way around to where it is, and that's 5.64 radians. But these are the same angle. 